to show you how to take photos of your Christmas tree at your vacation rental property. You have decorated your vacation rental beautifully for the Christmas season for your guests. And before you put those decorations away and you tear your Christmas tree down and put everything away until next year, you should take your camera and take a picture of it. That way you have marketing images for next year's Christmas guests. So the first thing we're going to do before I turn off all the lights for the tree is to make sure that our image is composed well. Now normally you want to put your Christmas tree, your subject, on the third line of either on the left or the right. Well in this image, I actually want my Christmas tree in the center. The reason is I don't want um, the overexposed door in there and I want to keep it even with the walls and everything. So I am going to put my image, I'm going to put my Christmas tree in the center of the image. So I have my um, camera set up here. Now the important things to notice is I have my lens, I have my camera, but I also have it on a tripod. Okay, we're going to take a longer um, exposure here. So there's no way that you can hold the camera that still for that long um, without getting it very blurry. So I have my Mi Photo tripod and I have my camera. And the third important thing is my remote shutter release. Mine is wireless. You can also get ones that are wired, but this remote shutter release is extremely important. Uh, you want to make sure that when you take your picture that you're not pressing the shutter button on the camera while it's on the tripod, especially on carpet, because once you press that, it gives a slight vibration to the camera and you could end up with, a, with an image out of focus. So we're going to not touch the camera and use the remote shutter release instead. So now I'm gonna turn the lights off. So here we have our Christmas tree, the gorgeous glow of the tree, and I have my settings set on first the ISO of a low number. Mine is at 200. The reason I want to have a low ISO number is that way we don't have a whole lot of digital grain. I want no noise, no digital noise, no grain in there. We want a very uh, clean image. Next, I have my f-stop at an f22. This is a very, very high f-stop, which gives us an extremely small aperture, which is the opening in the lens. This is where the light comes in through the lens. Now because it's so small, we're going to need an extremely long shutter speed. We're actually going to take a 10 second exposure. So my settings right now are ISO 200, F22, and 10 seconds for the shutter speed. Now if you were later in the evening taking the photo or maybe earlier in the day taking the photo, you know you could have to do a longer one, let more light in, or a shorter one, let less light in. It just depends upon the, when you do your photo and how much light you have coming in from around the camera. So for my purposes right now and for the time of day it is, we're just doing 10 seconds. So take a look at our gorgeous image. Um, it is the beautiful glow of the Christmas tree. It's just fine that the rest of the room is a little bit dark and that makes your focus be on the Christmas tree. So here you go, take this information and before you tear down your Christmas decorations and put them away for another year, make sure you take a few photos so that you have awesome marketing images for next year's Christmas guests.